you say? No, I was just going to say, um, just, just for like a safety hatch, I just don't want you guys to come through, uh, just be careful, like, don't come through with the horses, just because, uh, just in case the horses, like, use the restroom or something, or like, you know, something happens, I just don't want anybody to get frustrated, like, if their car runs over. Oh, so you don't even. want, so you don't want us to utilize our recognized mode of transportation because you're worried about I'm worried whether about or not customer. That's all, that's all we're a customer. About. What are we? Yeah, no, I know, but are you the manager? Register. Are you the manager? I am, I am. Are you making that call for the corporation? Yes, that's that's like that's is policy. that your story, and you're going to stick to it? This policy I'm because sure. Nathan was a manager over on Buck Owens Boulevard, and he tried that with me several years ago. Okay, and he lost. You know. I long for the day when I have enough time and lack of actual problems that I can get on a damn horse, ride my horse to the local Starbucks and mess with children who are working at the Starbucks. Come on, man. Put it up full mass. The hell? And I want you to zoom in on something. Uh, the woman has a Starbucks in her hand. Ma'am, you have you why are you still here? Did the horse order something too? You already got Nathan fired down the street, like you said. I don't understand this. The young man is being sensible, respectful. He's saying, listen, can you just, I mean, what if you're in a car and he says, ma'am, can you pull your car up a little bit? Because it's gonna take us a minute to get everything out to you. Pull up. You know, we'll bring it out to you in just a moment. Yeah, of course I will. You don't get special horse privileges here. Mr. Mayor, this is the first man. Uh, <laughs> and you know she got Nathan fired on purpose, right? Whatever happened. Hey, she's, she's been doing this for years, going around the stock bugs on a horse with her recognized mode of transportation. <laughs> right. Yeah, get your horse out of the drive through what, what, what are we going to do if you stick your, your head, stick his horse in there? We're going to close on the whole drive through to, to sanitize this place. Get serious, man. Like this is, like you said, what kind of time do you have where you can go to a drive through on a horse? Right. And harass people. First of all, you ordering food on the back of a horse? Yeah. And you got it in your hand. Have you ever, have you ever ridden a horse? It is not, it's not, it's not sanitary. Not conducive. <laughs> why, why would you be eating Starbucks on the back of a horse? I am, no. I, first of all, the beans are already over roasted. Like now you're going to yeah. add the smell of a horse to it. Yeah. yeah, man, this is, this is, this is next level red state to me. Yeah, it really is. Um, you know, well, that, that's what makes them feel like they're living. Indisputable is still the fastest growing news show in America. We tell the truth on Indisputable because the truth is indisputable. Listen, no matter what you do, don't allow the politics of ideology to evaporate the soul that still exists inside of you. They don't stop, I don't stop. Racism won't stop, I won't stop. Systemic bias won't stop, I won't stop. People still need criminal justice systems reform, so I won't stop. You won't stop either.